Joining us in studio from the National Eagle Center, we want to welcome Ed Hahn, Jared Lewick, and Jared is going to get out Latch, the bald eagle ambassador. Ed, it's so nice to have you here with us. Yeah, thanks for having us today. Oh my gosh, oh, this, this is, is cool. unbelievable as Latch Beautiful. is coming on out. There's Latch. Oh, they are so big in oh. person. My now, how gosh. big is Latch? How, how much does Latch weigh? Yeah, so he's actually a male okay. from uh, just outside of Winona okay. in Minnesota. Yeah. So, He's actually a little bit smaller than you'd typically expect to find. He's around six, seven pounds. Wow. Uh, the females are always larger than the males by, you know, about 30% of their body mass. Get but it, he girls. is an absolute rock star ambassador for the center. And you can feel the air as he's flapping those wings. I mean, those are strong wings right yeah. there. Okay, so and, tell us about the story of him. How did he come to the National Eagle Center? Yeah, so he actually, um, he was uh, hatched in 2016, okay. somewhere, you know, just outside of Winona. Yeah. And so there's a, a tour boat uh, operator in Winona who does cruises throughout the summer and the fall. And he just happened to see Latch sitting kind of in some shallow water uh, off one of the islands. And he noticed him a couple days in a row. And so he figured, well, something must be up. So he actually reached out to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Gorgeous. office in Winona. Yeah. And they said, Smart. unfortunately, uh, our boats are, are in the shop right now, so we can't go out and get him. So interestingly enough, uh, they sent some of their uh, officers on board one of his cruises, and the people who were on that cruise got to be part of an Eagle Rescue. What really? a team yeah. effort! So, yeah, so then he was sent up to the University of Minnesota Raptor Center, yeah. and they discovered that he's actually blind in his left eye. And for a bald eagle, an eagle that is that dependent on their sight, and of mm -hmm. course we know how good their vision is, um, that's a death sentence in the wild. So uh, he's not releasable, and he came to live with us and educate the public at the National Eagle Center, and we are just thrilled to have him. He is a <laughs> Wonderful bird. And how long has he been uh, with your uh uh, Eagle Center? Yeah, he's, so he's been with us for five years, and in fact, uh, we always celebrate and mark uh, the ambassador's hatch day on Earth Day. Oh, so yeah. tomorrow, <laughs> uh, he will be officially turning six. Very oh cool. My gosh. Yeah. Okay, so what's Early he birthday. doing right now when he's like looking around and he's stretching out his wings? Like, it's so interesting to just observe their behavior. Yeah, so what he's kind of doing right now, you know, he's been in the studio before, but he's still checking things out. Uh, Jared's working with them just to kind of give him some food that we always do positive reinforcement with everything. But in general, he's, he's pretty calm right now. He's just kind of getting a lay of the, the, the land around him. Uh, he, he might do a little bit of paddling. That's what we call paddling. Okay. Uh, if he were outside and there's like a light breeze, he'll do that a lot. He's just kind of stretching those wings, kind of doing some of those natural behaviors. He's not actually attempting to fly, mm -hmm. but it's very natural for him to do that motion. Jared is so we, you, good. And call. Yeah. I would be like, holy buckets. <laughs> <laughs> and you even said we had to turn some of the monitors off because if it's if the eagle saw another eagle, would it go towards the potentially um, another? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know exactly how to answer that. I mean, certainly <laughs> out in the wild, you know, they are going to be territorial birds. Yeah. They're not social birds. And so they do react when they see other um, adults coming into their territory. You know, they're going to be competing with each other for food resources. Right. Mm -hmm. Or during this time of year, during nesting season, and Elizabeth, you, you said you had a nest in your neighborhood. We have a near us. Yeah. They're extremely protective of that nest site. So, you know, they're going to be reacting, chasing off potential intruders, things yeah. like that. It's so incredible how big the nests are, which I think is amazing. And talk a little bit about you know the resurgence of the eagle because you know I remember from being a kid when it was just such a struggle there were no eagles they were endangered it was such a problem and I and you know we live right by the river so we see them all the time but it feels like there are many more in the wild yeah and and what you're describing really is something we hear from a lot of our guests especially from an older generation but I'm you know I grew up in the 80s and the 90s in Winona and I, you know, I don't remember seeing bald eagles really as a, as a kid. Right. Yeah. And today, I see them every day in Winona. We have them on the lake now, and, and that didn't used to be the case. But you're absolutely right. I, I would describe it as the most um, successful conservation story in American history because obviously they were on the brink of extinction wow. due to mm -hmm. due to DDT and its widespread right. use in the 20th century. Boy. But because you know the public got involved, the government got involved, and we stopped using DDT, yeah. they have made, like you said, a huge resurgence. And the population is doing very well. They were removed from the endangered species list in 2007. And so I always tell people, you know, we need to take the, the lessons that we learned from their story and apply that to other um, wildlife that need that. conservation. And you said these are toys? 
Well, they're not toys. I, 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 mean, I, I, mean, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, is this... Yeah, so these are some of the artifacts and, and things okay. we would use when we do our uh, Eagle Education Program. Okay. Now, those are something that we do at the National Eagle Center uh, when we're open. We're currently closed for our renovation right now, but we still go out to schools, mm -hmm. we go to libraries, public events, and so you know, we'll hand those around, but we'll use them to teach the audience about you know, their biology, their behavior. Sure. Um, and whenever you have those kind of tactile things that people can hold and mm -hmm. feel, it really helps reinforce the yeah. education. It is so cool. Okay, so Latch is going back into his little home, yep. um, and Jared is going to have his little carafe of rat pieces you know, on, his, on his way. <laughs> now, Jared, you like win MVP. You are cool as a cucumber. I would be yeah. sweating through my shirt if I was in your position well, right it's now. It's absolutely true that the birds read energy. Yeah. Um, and, and they do, you know, we, we do positive reinforcement with them, but they do form different relationships with different handlers. Yeah. And we have several different handlers that are part of the avian care team at the National Eagle Center. Um, and they, they do, they, they form different working relationships with different people. But when you go through that training, every one of them would tell you, you cannot show fear ah. because not necessarily that they'll use it against you, yeah. but they can use it to manipulate okay. you a little bit too. And, and again, they're apex predators. You know, they're the top of the food chain. So they're not gonna, you know, shy away from trying to push you around a little bit to have their way. What and an real, incredible gift. Yeah, real quick uh, programs for people to get involved. There are ways that people can get involved with this. Yeah, so you know, right now, like I said, we're currently closed to daily visitors. We're we're in phase one. We're kind of wrapping up phase one okay. of our twenty-seven million dollar expansion to the National Eagle Center. Wow. Um, so we'll be reopening again this summer, hopefully soon. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, we are open on the weekends, on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. People can come down to Wabashan. We're doing programs with Latch and some of the other ambassadors, cool. and people can come and do that. And we um, can follow you guys on social media. Yes, we And then are we can also watch your Eagle Cam. Oh, we watch that Correct. Well. time on yeah. weekends. <laughs> That's yeah, right. yeah, That's awesome. and this is this is the season four too. We don't have a nest cam. Our cam uh, just overlooks the Mississippi River. Yeah. But you know, there's plenty of eagles in Wabasha. There is definitely a reason that the National Eagle Center is where it is. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we we have that looking out on the river, and cool. people can see what's happening right out our back door. Thanks for guys, making thank the trip, you so much. And yeah. It's such a treat to have you guys here. You can see our friends from the National Eagle Center in Discovery Hall at the Science Museum next Friday and Saturday. They're going to have morning programs at 9:30, 10:30, and 11:30, and they're free for guests who are inside the museum. You just have to pay your paid admission to get in, and then you're good to go. Okay, coming up, we're going to take a look at things that could benefit from spring cleaning that you might